this is Stefano from uh, Voxland. My motto is less chat, more action. That's why I start straight with the tutorial. I'm gonna synchronize the audio of two clips. We have a clip filmed from one side, from front. Uh, I'd like a piece of pecan, pecan pie, pie and a, a cup, cup of, of chai, chai please. please. And another clip filmed from behind. Hello, I'd like a piece of pecan, pecan pie, and pie and a cup, cup of chai, chai please. please. What happened in the clip, for both the clips actually, is that a book fall. Here is the exact spot where the book falls. So I'm gonna play frame by frame until I hear the sound of the book falling and then I'm gonna right click on the CTI and from this menu I'm gonna choose a clip marker and the next available number. There you go. Then I can move to the next clip and I do the same thing here. Right click, clip marker, set next available number. Now that the two clips both have a number, I'm gonna drag them down starting from the longer. Therefore, I move back to the other clip and I drag down as well. Notice that in this case, I obviously don't need two audio tracks, so I'm gonna alternate click on the second clip audio and remove it just by pressing delete on my keyboard. I want to synchronize the clips now. You notice that both the clips now have a marker that says zero. All I need to do is just to select both of them at the same time, right click and go to synchronize. In synchronize, I will choose use the next clip marker available, which in this case is zero for both of them. And press OK. There you go. Now they are perfectly synchronized. I can also continue to edit the video whether I want to see from behind or I want to see from front just by changing the duration of the clip on video track 2. That's all for today. Please carry on watching our tutorials on youtube.com slash voxlab SOVA School of Visual Arts or check out our Facebook page on uh, facebook.com slash lab school or on our website lab.edu.sg. Thanks for watching.